how our national soccer team prepare for an African Nations Cup match. Esalen Park, venue of the South African national soccer team's training camp before all international matches. The week of preparation is over, and today it's down to serious business as South Africa take on Mauritius in an important African Nations Cup qualifier. For the players, the tension hangs heavily in the air. When I wake up in the morning, my body tells me anyway. Immediately I wake up, then open my eyes before I make a short prayer, because almost every day when I wake up, I must say something like a prayer. And then I put my foot down. The first foot that I have to put down is my right foot. And then you stretch, you feel the blood flow, you say, no, today I'm in for it. But if I feel down, then I know that I'm not okay. And I start picking up my skipping rope and start working. It lets the blood flow and brings back that psychological feeling that, no, I'm in good shape. I'm playing in Turkey in Europe. We have, we have, we have the same, the same menu. But here, at life is a bit of. He likes to eat what he wants. We have guys who are now playing overseas, um, who miss and long for the South African type of food. And we want to give them the opportunity of enjoying what they want for the first two to three days. After that, we get into a stage which we call carbohydrate loading, where we, we restrict certain foods and we try to to increase on the amount of carbohydrate that they have they have to eat. They have to take more pasta, more pap, more bread rolls, more fruit, and that kind of thing. And they have to take a lot of fluids as well. This is in preparation for the game, so that on the day of the game, they have enough energy to go through the 90 minutes. But I like eating spaghetti and maybe two pieces of meat, just, just a bit of carbohydrates and so on. But I think he's given us a bit of freedom in, in choice. But then you have to make your choices clear as a football player. The day of the game, it's so difficult to get that food digested. By 3 o'clock, you're still feeling it by the throat here and inside. It doesn't go down well. Maybe it's a question of anxiety. You want to go and play that you're waiting. Come on, I want to see this 90 minutes finished. It's a nightmare, really, but it's a nice nightmare to have. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, it's the build-up all week. It's what you focused on when you select them initially. And even when you select the 19, there's always the 20th, 21st, 22nd player that you think possibly you should bring in. But it is the worst part about it, but uh, it's part of the game and uh, it's the hardest part of the game. There's something very unusual with our teammates here. We don't care whoever plays. If we do it for South Africa, let's do it. If you are picked for 11 or 16, so be it. Because we know that the game is played by only 11 people. If you're not in there, it's not that you're a bad player. If you are that bad, you wouldn't have been called for the national team. It's only that we need only 11 to do duty for them. Once the side's been announced and it's starting to get settled, the tension starts lifting, I think, from that moment. Uh, they're all together on the bus, they start singing, they get together and the, the Royal Inhibitions go and you'll... Uh, I think by the time they get to the stadium, they, they're pretty relaxed in their, their own ways, but of course, of course they must be feeling keyed up and uh, there's a lot of tension there. On the way to the ground, I normally like putting my head on the headrest. Just try to meditate. You play the first, the first, the first, the first, the first 90 minutes before the actual 90 minutes. You think of the positions, think of stopping a ball, trying to make a goal, creating a move or so on. And then when you feel that anxiety uh, uh, building up, and then I just take a deep breath. I just breathe in for three, four seconds and release. Breathe in again until I feel that normal blood flow. That's, that's all that I'm trying to do to get myself relaxed and forgetting about the game, but it's difficult. And now we have one advantage, like in South Africa, our culture, we go there, we sing. And by singing, you actually forget about the game itself and concentrate on the singing. And it builds you up and then you feel motivated, you feel like I'm ready for war now. They've got to play for their country and do it for Mr. Mandela. And uh, you, you hit on soft spots that obviously would uh, fire their imaginations more than anything else. And uh, that's all you do. You try and get the, the, the arsing on the cake in the end. That's all you're doing. And you have to be very careful with the guys in the dressing rooms. Don't temper around, no jokes. If it has, to be, it has to be a joke, it must be sensible. At times, some of the guys don't even like to be touched. It's concentrating to the whole thing that if you touch me things, you, you, you're breaking the system. I allow any player to do anything he wants to do. You know, there's a lot of thing about the, the witch doctor involved and uh, Muti and all that, and that's a lot of rubbish. That goes out the window. Our players are professionals. They've worked hard during the week. It's now, it's in the lap of the gods exactly what performs. They're going to go out there and do their best. They're going to try and do their best to perform. And uh, if we get the result in the end, well, everything falls into place. But with me, I put on my right, every stuff that I'm trying to do, I put on my right foot first. The socks, the shin pads, whatever, the boot must be on the right. And then come to the left, tighten up the right, the left. The same when I go inside the pitch, I put my right foot inside first. I never, ever put my left. It's just psychological and superstitious. But every game is new, 
you're still telling yourself that, come on, Stevie, I must do it again. Let me try harder. No, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but I must be in there and do it for my teammates. But every game is new. It's only that I know previously I've been doing well, I'm just hoping the same thing happens in the coming game. South Africa is the winner today. Okay? It's, it's quite an electrifying uh, atmosphere. And going out there, you know that this is the time that I have to do this for the South Africans. The preparations and everything has been done. And now it's left up to us, 11 people inside that beach, to do business. And it really comes to your head and your senses. And it leaves you with some sort of an obligation and responsibility towards South Africa. Time for a short prayer before the game begins. But the players are fired up and ready. On the stands, the fans are looking forward to the kickoff. For them and the players, the wait is nearly over. It was a good day for South Africa. They beat Mauritius 1-0. Tomorrow, against Zambia, they continue their quest to reach the African Nations Cup final in 1996.